Hello, it is Friday, June 3rd, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Friday puzzle, so our first of two themeless puzzles for the week, and perhaps a little bit trickier than the puzzles we've been solving for the last few days. We'll just have to see. Um, this tricky edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Camtron, Jake Rodkin, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for um, directly supporting this channel and helping um, make this a sustainable enterprise for me. I do very much appreciate that. And if you'd like to join their ranks as benefactors and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And uh, of course, if you back the Patreon campaign at any level, you get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the Patreon channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And um, I am under a little bit of a time crunch today, so I'm going to move on quickly. Oh, actually, and on that note, tomorrow's video will probably come up very late. So if you're on, say, the West Coast of the United States, you may not I, you may not notice that as much because it, it'll still be early-ish in the day for you, but uh, it will be, I'll be, it'll be releasing probably in the late afternoon, my time, which is UK time. So um, apologies for that. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, nothing else. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's solve the puzzle. Why not? So this is a Friday puzzle as, as stated, it was constructed by Robin Weintraub, who's a a classic New York Times constructor, best known for her Friday puzzles, in fact, sometimes referred to as the, the queen of the Fridays, and um, o always delivers a fun, themeless puzzle. So we should have something good in store for us. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Oh, and Robin Weintraub has constructed several dozen New York Times puzzles. She also constructs for uh, The New Yorker, I think. All right, let's go. Start solving puzzle genre. I don't know. That's interesting. Endangered Western Wolf. Is it the Lobo? I'm not sure. Let's keep going. Company with the motto, when you rise, we shine. No idea. Arcade Game Ender. Arcade Game Ender. I don't know. A, a loss? I'm not sure what that means. Um, Jimi Hendrix vis-a-vis -vis the monkeys in 1967. I don't know. Did he open for the monkeys or did he, f did they open for him perhaps? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, was he a sort of second act or something? No, I don't know. Eastern leader, an emir maybe? Leader of an emirate? Path at a university. And comment made while waving in a crowd. I'm over here? That could work. Boy, that's lucky that I... <laughs> lucky cross with the mirror, if, if, if so. Wrinkle-prone fabric. Oh, linen. Oh, that's funny. I mentioned linen the other day in this context, in a puzzle. Or in a video, rather. Parade without a trot. You could trot somebody out, parade them out. Okay, good. It looks like Amir did... was my sort of break into this puzzle, so... Um, found some purchase in this northeastern corner. Arcade game... Ender. Oh, oh, I see. Tilt. Uh, so pinball, which is a game that is often played in ar arcades and in, in, in game arcades. Uh, you, if you tilt the machine too much, the game will end. There we go. Path at a university. And giving chocolate to the dog, e.g. That's a no-no. Uh, so path at a university. Oh, tenure track. Right, so a professor could be on uh, on the tenure track to ultimately become a full professor. Okay, it's down in France. Is this duvet? So this is referring to down as in feathers. Um, it's down in France. Is that literally what the word duvet means? And that's interesting. I didn't know that. If so, I'll have to look that up. That's interesting. Um, so yes, I don't. <laughs> I don't actually know, but we. It's a good. It's a good solid sort of punny clue that that we can we can um, use to infer the answer. Non-taxing part of airline travel. 
non-taxing part. Oh, a duty-free, <laughs> duty-free shop. That's very funny. Uh, Graham of Gilmore Girls. Not sure, but it looks like Lauren, doesn't it? I'm just going to go ahead and assume that's the answer. Um, bow or bow? An arc, maybe? Not sure about that. Give and take. Oh, barter. You could trade, barter. So bow. Maybe it is an arc. Well, who'd have thunk it? Mm, something that, maybe? Who'd have thunk it? Fancy that. Oh, look at that. It is arc. So so a, a bow is, as in, you know, a rainbow or something. Um, literally a bow and arc. Okay, shows. And reasons some kids won't go to class. Now I'm just looking for everything to be some kind of pun, so I'm wondering, is this kids as in baby goats or something? Uh, shows, what, was, what is this? Hoth in The Empire Strikes Back. Hoth was the ice planet in The Empire Strikes Back, the film. And when we rise, you shine. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. I probably won't until I, until I just get the whole thing. Um, oh, so this could be Jimi Hendrix vis the Monkeys in 1967. It could be some kind of act. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not sure. I'm sure this is a common phrase that I just can't bring to mind for some reason. Regular abbreviation could be standard, regular standard. Supplied with dough as a bakery. Okay, well, the ED works with, it's the correct tense for supplied. So that looks reasonable. Woohoo in Oaxaca. Could it be Ole? I think probably. And endangered Western wolf. Maybe it is the Lobo. And Olympic Australis is a noted one. Um... Is that a, or is that a mountain or on the moon or something like that? Sorry, I, I, kind of an absurd guess. I'm just trying to think. Um, what about this tiny inheritance? A gene, a small, <laughs> I suppose the sort of tiniest unit of something you inherit from a parent, a biological parent. Uh, puzzle genre, logic puzzles. Um, Right, so Jimi Hendrix vs. the Monkeys in 1967. A, oh, an opening act. Right, okay, so he did, okay, it was my first guess. He opened for them. Why didn't I try, why didn't I try putting that in? I don't know. <laughs> um, weird, that's so funny. I think that was my very first guess. Oh, is it an opal? Is this the name of a gem? Olympic Australis? It must have been sort of mined in Australia or something like that. Supplied with dough as a bakery. Um, oh, bankrolled? <laughs> wow, ridiculous. So so there's some... Um, supplied with dough as a bakery. You bankrolled a bakery. I mean, fair enough, but that is incredibly misleading. They really, She really wants dough to... She really wants us to think of dough meaning dough that you would knead and bake to make bread. But no, it's just money. It's dough meaning money. Um, and I suppose it's true that if you supplied a bakery with dough, you would have bankrolled it. Um, but nothing particular to a bakery. Uh, just there for the red herring. Okay, let's see. Trash can jocularly. Um, I don't know. Looks like a jerk. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that's clever. Ogle. So <laughs> doesn't looks like a jerk as in appears to be a jerk, but rather looks in the way that a jerk would. Looks in the manner of a jerk. Ogles somebody, sort of leers at them. Chronicle. A chronicle could be a tale. And company with the motto, when you rise, we shine. Oh, Otis, that's the elevator manufacturer. Okay. I had no idea that was their motto, but it, it fits perfectly well. That could almost be a sort of pun clue if it weren't true. Okay, proceed during rush hour, say. Um, I don't know. I just, all I can think of is sleep, which doesn't seem right. Designer Kamali, who made Farrah Fawcett's iconic red swimsuit. I don't know. Nolan, maybe? Uh, no idea. 
uh, totals. Um, this could be totals as in adds up to or totals as in destroys, as in a vehicle in, a, in an accident um, or something else. Sums. Know me or something? Do I? Uh, trash can jocularly. Circus something? Oh, I see. Proceed during rush hour, say, is creep, creep along because um, the traffic is incredibly dense. So maybe this is Norma Kamali. And this does look like circus, doesn't it? Trash can jocularly. I don't know what that is. Um, plant with oily seeds. And they work using photovoltaic cells. Solar panels? There we go. Okay, African River with a notorious name. A notorious name. Now, I don't know if that means the name is notorious. Rather, the river is notorious, and therefore its name is notorious by association, or the river itself isn't particularly notorious, but it bears the name of a person, thing, or concept that is notorious for other reasons. And so as a result, I don't really know how to think about this. <laughs> so I'm going to move on. Actor Burton, LeVar Burton from uh, Reading Rainbow and Star Trek. Hot flash. Ire, a bit of ire, a hot, hot as in angry, perhaps. And there's the question mark there indicating a bit of um, punnery or wordplay. Okay, shows, bears. Bear your soul, show your soul, that sort of thing. Reasons some kids won't go to class, right? Um, still not sure. What about this? Employer of Kirk and Spock. Oh, so we have two characters from Star Trek above an actor from Star Trek. Uh, employer of Kirk and Spock. Um, I'm not sure what that is. What about this? One of three brothers in a Puzo bestseller. So this is The Godfather, presumably Puzo's best known work, I would think, a novelist. Um, so Fredo is one of the uh, um, Corleone brothers. And a Yemeni seaport would be Aden. And it may be part of a suit, a tort. So sort of wrongdoing in a legal sense. And I'm sure there's a better definition than that. Um, like O negative vis-a-vis -vis O positive. Those are blood types, and O negative, I guess, is rarer than O positive. I never really learned all of the different sort of relationships and implications of the blood types. Okay, dressed, so to speak. If you're dressed, so to speak, you're decent. I'm, I'm, I'm not decent. I'm not dressed. Actress who played Queens Elizabeth and Victoria in film. Judy Dench, um, perhaps. Seems pretty plausible. Magazine with the slogan, all you need to know about everything that matters with the, um, there is a magazine called The Week, so it must be this. And Cheers actor George, George Went, is an actor from the classic sitcom Cheers. Um, all Disney, all 12 Disney princesses, e.g., are they, they're all teenagers, I assume, based on this, seems plausible. Yeah, I guess that must be true. Um, all right. Dollar alternative. A euro, maybe? A different unit of currency? In four letters, starting with an E, I suspect it's euro. Place to park is a spot, maybe? A parking spot? And the Carol Burnett Show Network. I don't know. CBS or... Actually, it must have been CBS because I don't think... The only major networks would have been NBC, CBS, and ABC, I think. And only one of the men's with S. Okay, it must be CBS. Great. I'm glad I had that S last as opposed to the B, only the B, the second one, because that could have been all three of them. Uh, buildings with many wings. Bird, birdhouses. Very good. And a period before a big, big deadline is crunch time. Day associated with Mars in astrology. Um, Tuesday, I guess. Didn't know that. Hoi polloi 
um, are just sort of the, the people, the, I don't know, rabble, the, um, I don't know, is it peons? Let's check the crosses. I'm not very confident about that. Paste in soup. Okay, well, miso paste. You make miso soup with miso paste. And dark clouds, e.g., that could be an omen of bad, bad things to come. And a private, oh, <laughs> very clever, private dining room. This, this is not referred to a dining room that is private, but rather a dining room for privates in the military, a mess. And a small business partner, perhaps, mom. So there we have a reference to a mom and pop uh, business, a small business. Okay, clip. Um, it could be clip as in cut or shorten, or clip as in a sort of at a pace. You're sort of running at a fast clip. Um, or it could be clip as in a, uh, an excerpt from a film or something. I'm not sure. It's not good. A foul in a... So I immediately started thinking of slightly punny ways to interpret this, um, because that is definitely the character of this puzzle and is characteristic of, of Robin Weintraub puzzles. They're always very playful. Um, ingredients in matar paneer, peas, right? Isn't matar peas and then paneer is the cheese? Maybe, oh, maybe not. No, it must not be. What am I thinking of? I don't know. Um, what is this? Gear up and take a plane to. So you could take a plane to, you could fly somewhere, or you could take a plane to and sand something, that kind of plane, in sort of do-it-yourself kind of work. Um, what about this? Part of Canada named for part of Europe. British Columbia or... Um, why can't I think of anything? That's infuriating. Um, assist on the job. Oh, assist on the job is a bet. So on the job, in this case, meaning uh, a sort of criminal job, a bank job or something. Um, you're abetting somebody. You're abetting a criminal act. Plants with plant plant. Sorry, with oily seeds. And African oh Ebola right. Okay, so this is a river that has gained its notorious name for the second reason I posited, which is that it's associated with something else that is notorious. In this case, the Ebola virus. Uh, even though the river itself is not necessarily notorious for the same reason. So a trash can, jocularly, is a circus. Why don't I see what this is? Trash can. So jocularly will mean in a joking sort of way, but I don't, it doesn't really help me. Um, images of Pluto, perhaps. Hell? Pluto? The underworld? Hell? Um, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> cells. So some clever misdirection here. So Pluto, the cartoon character, and um, cartoons traditionally animated on uh, cells, spelled this way. Okay, very clever. So plant with oily seeds. Um, why do I not see what this plant is? That's very irritating. What about this? Employer of course. Oh, Starfleet. Right, Starfleet. That must be the organization they work for. Is that right? Starfleet. That must be, that must be right. I'm sure it is. Okay. Reason some kids won't go to class. Oh, field, field trip. I see. So the way it's, the way this is phrased makes it sort of seem like the children are refusing to go to class, but it's not so much that. It's just that they won't they won't go today because they're on a field trip. So um, this is a clever sort of misdirection in that it's very subtle because it plays on an incredibly nuanced way that we tend to use words. You say they won't go to class. That really suggests they it's their intention not to, as opposed to something that's simply happening, even though literally there's no reason that needs to be the case. Okay, abstract artist Krasner. Oh, Lee Lee Krasner is an abstract artist. 
Um, hucksters have them. Spiels. Um, so someone could con you into something with a with a spiel. Okay, so circus, arf. I must have something wrong. It is not circus. It's not circus. It's circular um, trash can jocularly. What is this? Sorry. Um, I'm just going to have to get this with crosses. I'm, I don't know why I've thrown myself off this so badly. Went up could be sword, maybe? Oh. Trash can. Cans. Circular fire? I don't think I know this phrase. Uh, plant with oily seeds. Oh, canola, as in canola oil. So com Norma Kamali, indeed, is the answer there. And um, part of Canada. Oh, Nova Scotia. Right, sorry. New Scotland, Nova Scotia. Oh, so this was all wrong. Whoops. Okay, well, I didn't do myself any favors in this uh, southwestern region over here, did I? Um, okay, so Nova Scotia and went up. Um, the average American spends over four hours a day on it. Oh, phone. And a clip... Clip. It's not good. Evil is not good. And ingredients... In, oh, it is peas. Okay, good. Well, at least I'm not forgetful in that particular way, <laughs> um, even though I may have been in other, in other respects. Uh, gear up for something is to prep for it. And clip... Oh, oh, I see. A rate as in you're going at a fast clip, a fast rate. Is that how that's being used? And to take a plane to, okay, so it was the sort of sh shaving bits off of wood or something that I was imagining, I think, shave, and then went up scared. Um, does this mean like birds? I don't know. No. Uh-oh, what did I do wrong? Um, okay. Hmm. Is it? Trash can jocularly. Circular file scaled went up as in sort of scaled up um, your ambitions or something. Yes. Okay. So what? Sorry. This must just be circular file. Trash can jocularly. Is it like a sort of Rolodex style? File? Is that what this is? I actually just don't, I don't know this terminology. I'm very sorry. Um, boy, that really, uh, that was my bane through this puzzle, wasn't it? This circular file here. That that uh, threw me off in many respects. Uh, here for quite a long time with the circus and then um, once again down here. Anyway, um, great puzzle, I thought, uh, despite my my persistent challenges with circular file, and then my, my general trouble down here. I guess I had a few incorrect things. It's not good, right? So um, actually, I think I said, I immediately started thinking of punny ways to read this, and that's exactly when I shouldn't have done that. I should have read it as literally as possible. It's not good, it's evil, and that's that. Um, great puzzle, though. Absolutely packed with incredibly clever uh, clues. Um, and this was a this was a fun little bit of trivia. Jimi Hendrix vis-a-vis -vis the monkeys in 1967. So Jimi Hendrix opening for the monkeys. Um, of course, in retrospect, that seems absolutely uh, bonkers, but that kind of thing, I suppose, historically happens all the time. Um, yeah, supplied it though as a bakery bankrolled was an incredibly um, that was definitely a bit of a troll of a clue. Uh, it's down in France. Duvet is very interesting. I'll have to look that up. And um, what else? There were, there were quite a few very good clues. And now I'm having trouble landing on them out of nowhere. Let's see. Oh, buildings with many wings <laughs> being birdhouses is absolutely great. Um, private dining room as a mess is very good. Um, dollar alternative is good as Euro because it's very straightforward and so often 
in the crossword dollar is used to refer to um, a particular rental car company. Uh, so this is weirdly sort of lightly misleading within a very particular frame of mind, I suppose. Um, it may be part of a suit, a tort, referring to a lawsuit is very clever. Uh, reason some kids won't go to class, I really, really like in, in for that linguistic reason I sort of explained. Um, images of Pluto perhaps is clever because the um, Pluto is capitalized because of course Pluto is also a, a planet or you know, Hades, similar, you know, for the same word. Uh, and so there's so many, I guess, more obvious things you'd think of before you think of the uh, cartoon character. So that was very clever. Non-taxing part of airline travel, duty-free shop is just a great pun clue. Um, anyway, uh, oh, did I even? No, I never, I don't think I actually saw this clue. Um, so there, I've saved myself a correction tomorrow. It commonly comes in black and blue ink. There we go. There, I got it. I found it. Um, and now I'll move on, perhaps uh, perhaps missing some other clues that I have not found that someone will have to read for me tomorrow. But for now, uh, let's discuss some clues from yesterday's puzzle. So yes, really enjoyed, really enjoyed today's Friday. Okay, and what do we have? We have a few. So Kathleen Quinn explains Cicely Tyson, 63 across, was an actress of the stage, movie, screen, and television whose vivid, whose quote, vivid portrayals of strong African-American women sh uh, shattered racial stereotypes in the dramatic arts of the 1970s, propelling her to stardom and fame as an exemplar for civil rights. And then, end quote. Not only did she win three Emmys, but she also won a Tony at the age of 88, a trip to Bountiful and an honorary Oscar. She died in February 2021 at the age of 96. So thank you very much, Kathleen Quinn, for that tribute to Cicely Tyson, a name with which I was sadly unfamiliar. And uh, James Draper. Well, so James Draper has a two-part uh, message here. In, in one case, uh, he was one of many people who commented on the incredibly uh, trollish uh, with one across, with one down uh, theme about yesterday's puzzle. And um, anyway, uh, yes, <laughs> summed it up when he said, I face palmed very hard when the penny finally dropped. Um, many people expressed that same thought, but James Draper also had uh, a comment more uh, related to something I, I had wondered aloud while solving yesterday's puzzle. As for Satan having a goatee, says James, like many aspects of Christianity, this is something which draws from an older religion. The depictions of the devil are supposedly based on the Greek god Pan, or his Roman, Roman counterpart Faunus, who is depicted as being part goat with hooves and a goatee. While not necessarily evil, per se, um, Pan was depicted as wild and mischievous, so it's easy to imagine how that could evolve over time into the Christian figure of Satan. And then added, I wonder if the constructor of today's crossword has a goatee. Yes, indeed. Thank you. That makes sense. Um, that's that's a uh, very interesting and logical um, uh, theory, I suppose. Okay. And uh, normal asylum. Well, so Random Bat asked about a clue, uh, 1930s depression fighting organization, which was the NRA. And that must have been a clue I didn't see because I don't recognize it. But um, I think some people, including this person, wonder, does that refer to the National Rifle Association? That seems like a strange, uh, strange way to refer to the NRA. And Normal Asylum said, no, that is the National Recovery Administration established during the Great Depression. So thank you for pointing out that clue that I missed. And Dances with Logic refers, to, well, refers to my stumbling to <laughs> towards the meaning of the initialism CSA for the sort of produce box you can have delivered. And I, I don't remember what I, what I was guessing at, but it wasn't anything useful. Dances with Logic says, I've always known CSA to be community supported agriculture. I'm quite willing to believe there are other valid and descriptive options being used in other regions. Um, I would believe that as well, but you're probably, <laughs> I was probably not thinking of a different thing. I was probably just thinking of community supported agriculture and I just couldn't couldn't come to it. So thank you, Dances with Logic, for filling me in on that uh, abbreviation. And that's all I had for yesterday's puzzle, which means that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition 
of the Daily Solve, if you've made it this far, um, please do subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so. And why not like the video? Rarely remember to ask for that, but it is something that is a, supposedly very helpful. So thank you to everybody who does any of those things. And thank you, of course, as always, to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. It will be late in the day tomorrow, but um, should have a video up at some point. Um, but until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.